Steve, I think of this as the parlor palm, but that's kind of an old name for it. It is called the parlor palm, and it's been around for a long time. One of the first plants used in the interior scape industry. Um, so it is a parlor palm. Uh, it's in the Chamaderia palm family, sometimes called a sham, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a Neanthabella. Okay, and it's one of those plants, as you say, you can go back and look at old photos back to like 17, 1800s, and you'll see these, this plant used pretty much like it looks today, only this looks a little more full and uh, mm -hmm. more robust. Um, an aspiring horticulturist found this in the under understory of the forest in southern Mexico and Guatemala and brought it to the United States and cultured it uh, for interior use a long, long time ago. Makes a great looking plant, and you say this will take indirect light and for for the palm family you said this takes lower light than almost any of the others you can think it of. does it's one of the great characteristics about this plant that it can do well in lower and indirect light uh, it does not need to be uh, in filtered light next to a window so uh, it will last a long time with uh, indirect lighting and uh, once again i guess we would check it for water how's the water on this compared to some of the others uh, this plant like many of the others likes to be wet and let the soil profile dry down and then wet again. And the only way to tell how that's going on is to use your soil probe. Okay, your super sleuth? My soil sleuth. Your soil sleuth. Super soil sleuth. All right. So I'm gonna probe the soil down six to eight inches, come out, and we just pulled this baby fresh out of the greenhouse and you can see it's got good soil moisture. Nice and moist. So in an interior environment, this plant wouldn't need to be watered for two or three weeks. Now, Steve, you've got this in a larger size. Would you say you have a smaller size of this as well? Well, this, this is in the 10-inch grow pot, which is the smaller size. Okay. Uh, the larger size would be in a 14-inch grow pot, and it would be fuller, not necessarily taller. So this plant, mature like this, doesn't get much taller than this, maybe a, just a little bit. Um, but this is what you should expect in either size, either the 14 or the 10-inch size. Uh, but again, the larger size in the 14 would be fuller bring a little bit of that tropical beauty right into your own right in your landscape. home and you can put this virtually anywhere in your home um, and our office and it should do well it's a good burst of color um, kicks out oxygen like all our plants do and provide you with a nice uh, healthful environment now if occasionally uh, on some of the plants if you get a little bit of mite or mealybug just clean it off with so the, water? The, the two two main problems uh, uh, insect problems right. with this plant is the, the spider mite and the mealybug. And you can see the spider mite's got a little webbing. Uh, the mealybug is white and cottony, and both of them you can uh, remove with a damp cloth with a little soapy solution and just pull the bottom of the leaf, pull the top of the leaf, and you're clean. And get rid of them that way. So it removes the dust, it removes any bugs you might have on it. Um, the bigger problem than the bugs on this plant is gonna be dust which is gonna happen on occasion, but a little mm -hmm. cleaning, you can kind of do it uh, dual duty. Clean right? it up. Uh, doesn't require much trimming. However, if you do have a, a, a leaf um, that goes, you can see this guy got a little physical damage here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the base, the stem that, of the plant. That frond all the way back. Take the frond all the way off, and you're done. So pretty rarely, do you want to take off a leaflet? So uh, the morphology of these plants, you've got the whole leaf, which is sometimes called a frond, and then the leaflets. But you can see these two end leaves are damaged, and I can come back in between, and that's, uh, it's Now it's still, gone. It's, yeah, now it's gone, now it's gone. But still looks very nice and full. Good looking plant. The Deantha Bella. Parlor palm. Parlor palm. Jamadaria.